Welcome to the inaugural Equestricon. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is a big equestrian or racing conference. It's going on for two days here at Saratoga Springs in upstate New York. They've got everything here. They've got triple crown jockeys. They've even got Godolphin. We're going to go and have a look around and try and give you a flavor of everything. Saratoga, some three hours drive from New York City, attracts the biggest names in racing for its seven week meeting in the height of the summer. Therefore, this quaint spa town is the perfect place in which to hold an international racing conference. Over the two days, the many panels debated a wide range of topics, from tipping to medication, from tweeting to marketing. It was all there, as organizer Dan Torchman explained. It was originally just a conversation I had had with one of my friends about just something that was potentially lacking in horse racing, something that we could do to bring the industry together and bring everybody under one roof. And I went with that idea to Justin Nicholson and Catherine Sharp, my partners, and they just ran with it. And uh, together over the past uh, year and a half or so, this whole thing has been fully baked and uh, here we are this week. I suspect you're not the kind of people that, that rest. Are you already <laughs> thinking about next year, how to make it bigger and better? Oh yeah, we, we've been thinking about next year even before the convention started. We're seeing things where we say, oh, you know what, we could probably make that a little better. We can get more people to come and to participate if we do it this way. Uh, maybe we have too much programming. Uh, we created a program with over 85 events in two and a half days, covering everything from racing photography, marketing, media, to breeding, aftercare, training, ownership, meet the jockeys, meet the legends. It's a lot. It's a lot to pack into a couple of days. And our hope with it was that we by providing sort of a dynamic and diverse program, we would catch everybody. And I think that what we're seeing is we are catching everybody, but um, we're giving them too many options maybe. So what we'd like to do is simplify it. And I think in year two, we're gonna go back to the drawing board. All that being said though, uh, I don't think I could be much happier with the attendance that we've had, with the level of engagement and the number of people who've come up to me and said, this is one of the greatest experiences of my life. Um, and that has kind of taken us aback and, and we're just, we're so pleased that uh, we've been able to, uh, to put this on and deliver. The event, which took place in Saratoga's city center complex, attracted some big names, sponsors and partners with the Breeders' Cup, Windstar Farm, Denali Stud and Godolphin among those to support it. It also drew in some big names from Europe with Racing UK and NBC presenter Nick Luck addressing a big crowd for his keynote speech which stressed the importance of dwelling on the positives in the sport. I really wanted it just to represent the event in, in essence because what they've done is bring so many different strands of the industry together. I didn't really just want to major on, on one topic so hopefully, hopefully people uh, enjoyed it or endured it, one or the other. How did you first get involved in this? Well Dan uh, Torchman and Catherine and Justin um, asked me I think it was November, last November or December, if I'd like to be involved, because I'd written a, an article for Thoroughbred Racing Commentary, sort of stating that I felt that American Racing had a, a, a reasonable, a reasonable uh, position to be a little more confident than it was, that it expressed itself with a, a slightly more puffed-out chest than it than it had been, um, and I think they felt that spirit of optimism was sort of what this event was about. As well as being something of an industry hub. EquestriCon placed much of the emphasis on the fans, with racetrack visits, museum tours and film screenings all part of the three-day extravaganza. It will undoubtedly grow over time, but the fans we spoke to seem to have enjoyed their experience. I absolutely loved it. It was great. I've been on horse racing Twitter for a few years and there were so many people at EquestriCon who I've been talking on Twitter to to a year, two, four, and now I finally get to meet them in person and we can talk horse racing, you know, sit around the table, discuss our ideas about horse racing, discuss our experiences. I think it's going to do a lot just now and going forward and bringing the industry together from all corners. This is going to grow. Um, next year is going to be bigger than this. Everybody's doing a great job and it's a fine thing to do. You know. Equestricon will return in 2018.